Hello there and welcome back. This video is going to be regarding T distributions. We will be constructing a confidence interval. Now let's get started. We're going to be using, as I said, T distributions, which means we do not know the standard deviation of the population. Now that translates to using the, the standard deviation of the sample. Now let's, let's, just, let's just make up a question here. Let's say the standard deviation of a sample we took was, oh, I don't know, five. And let's say we, we had a sample size. We'll denote it as being N. The letter N is going to be our sample size. Let's say we had it of, oh, 30, 30. Let's also have a calculated sample mean of being 10. So the sample's mean is going to be this. Okay, now what I want to do is construct a 95% confidence interval for this data. Now what, what we're doing is we're calculating the 95% confidence interval of where the true mean of the population is going to be, or based on the test statistic of the X bar we have here. So we're going to be constructing a 95% confidence interval. We will be using the formula T multiply the standard deviation of the sample, divided by the square root of our sample size. All of this will give you the margin of error. Now the first step solving this question is to figure out what the value of t is going to be. In order to do that, we're going to be relying on the degrees of freedom and the actual confidence interval we have. The degrees of freedom is calculated by doing n minus 1. n is the sample size, therefore we have 30 minus 1 giving us a degrees of freedom of 29. So degrees of freedom denoted as t or dt is going to be 29. Jumping over to our table then, we know we want to construct a 95% confidence interval. Scrolling up, you can see this is a T distribution table, critical values and such. We have our 95% confidence interval we want to construct. We go over to the left-hand column, which represents our degrees of freedom. We're using 29, therefore we're going to the 29 row. Only focusing on the row, going up to the 95%. This value right here is going to be the t value we're going to be using to construct our confidence interval. It's 2.045. Let's go over here. We're going to be using 2.045. Then it's going to be multiply our standard deviation of the sample. We've got a 5 here. So 5 divided by the square root of our sample size, 10, or sorry, 30. Square root of 30. And this will give us the margin of error. Now what we want to do is take the sample mean, 10, plus or minus this value to get the mar to get the confidence interval. This is essentially the confidence interval, actually. If you wanted to write this in a different way, the more common way, we do 10 subtract the result of this margin of error calculation here to get 8.13. Then we do 10 add that value to get 11.87. And this would be also the 95% the confidence interval for our data right here for the t-distribution. Now what this confidence interval is actually stating is that if we take several random samples, 95% of them will contain the population mean within these values right here. So let's say we take maybe 30 simple random samples of the same population, 95% of them are going to have a true population mean value being within this interval we calculated. And this is the conclusion to this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you're having a nice day.